Hey, it's Miles of Spider Grills. The other day I was talking to my wife and we were talking about cool teachers we had in high school. I had an English teacher named Miss Georgeopolis. I've been craving a hero ever since. So I started thinking about heroes and I started thinking about gigantic hunks of meat on spit rods and I realized I had both a gigantic hunk of meat and a spit rod. So I thought to myself, how could I make my own hero at home? Be my own hero as it were. And so, I came home, I got my gigantic hunk of meat, I threw it in the marinade, I threw it on the spit rod, I threw it on the Huntsman Grill. I'm gonna show you what happened. This is Pork Loin Heroes, true hero to us all. So I looked up the Greek seasoning online, it was basically just my entire spice rack. So I'm just gonna show you what I put together. Got our salt and pepper, fresh ground. Threw in a little bit of garlic powder. So we have oregano, basil coming up next. We got rosemary there, and my camera can't even keep up. Parsley, cinnamon, which I thought was surprising, but you know, I like cinnamon, so I'll put it in there. We got dill weed, which of course, thyme leaves, and then finally, nutmeg, another surprising one, but uh, you know, I like a little spice. So I threw all these spices together, kind of just eyeballing the amounts based on the things I like the most. By the way, these are the same spices I put in my marinade, so everything should taste pretty good. Now we just need to get the Huntsman ready for the rotisserie. We've made this super easy for you with the included ratchet set. Just remove the two bolts from the metal plate and charcoal tool holder on either side. Then replace those parts with the rotisserie bracket and spit mount. Don't worry, these parts fit perfectly over your side shelves. Tighten down the bolts and install your rotisserie motor and you're ready to cook. The motor can be run with 2D batteries, the included power adapter, or your Venom battery pack. A little public service announcement though, don't do what I did and leave your magnetic battery pack stuck to the side of your hot grill. Makes it a little hard to attach to the rotisserie bracket when it's slightly melted. But hey, it still works. I'm setting up my charcoal here with two hot zones on either side of the spit. I'm going to pile lump charcoal on either side and then put about half a chimney of red hot coals on top of each one. This should give me plenty of fuel to go at about 400 for a couple of hours. I trust my pork loin with butcher's twine just to keep things in a nice neat bundle. Don't judge me here, I'm still working on my trussing skills. Uh, but what I did worked and it stayed nice and neat as I put it on the spit. When you're putting it on the spit, you just want to make sure that you're keeping everything centered as the spit goes through. It should go through pretty easy. There was very little resistance here. Uh, I just had to make sure everything went right through the center so things stayed evenly cooked all the way around. Now that our grill's up at 400 degrees, we just throw the meat on there, start up our motor, and watch her turn. Isn't she beautiful? Put her to bed for about an hour. I'll come check on her in a little bit. Pulled my pork loin off the grill at about two hours, once it hit 145 throughout. As you can tell, it looks amazing. Let it rest for about 20 minutes so I don't let all the juice run out when I pull the spit. And then we got it out from the butcher's twine. The next thing I wanted to do to make this as authentic as possible is to slice it standing up just like they do at the Mediterranean shop down the street. I wanted long thin slices so I could toss them on my pita bread to make the perfect hero. And this was just really fun. Look at that. That's exactly what I imagined. Oh man. All right, so I'm gonna take that meat that we just cut off of there. Oh. Let's put that up a little bit. Some other pieces on here. Top it with some hummus. Some freshly grilled veggies right off the grill. Tzatziki sauce.
top it with some feta cheese. And some Kalamata olives. All right, we got it built. Let's see what she tastes like. Mm. That is a good girl. Yeah. Exactly what I wanted. Better make one. Cheers.